y'all, it's Taryn. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another Swimsuit Saturday. In this video, as you can tell by the title, we are hauling Dress Lily. So I have hauled Dress Lily in the past here on my channel. I'll link it down below. But I constantly get requests for this, especially during Swimsuit Saturday, because they are so inexpensive. So I have so many things for this video. You're not just going to see swimsuits. I have summer things or things that I think you could wear with a swimsuit or over a swimsuit. I mean, I think it's two or three hundred dollars worth of items, which is a lot on Dress Lily because they are so inexpensive. Now, Dress Lily did reach out to me and ask me if they could send me some items to haul for this video, but as always, obviously I said yes, because that's what we're doing. But as always, it is an honest review of what I think, if I think it's worth your money, Everything you're about to see, I will link in the description box down below. Also, they gave me a discount code. I'll also put it here on the screen, but you can use DLBF20 for 20% off of your purchase. I don't know what I wanna do first. I guess I'll do swimsuits first because this is a swimsuit Saturday, but I'm telling y'all, I mean, I have so many things. I just pulled a couple of them. I pulled, look, I have a tie-dye swimsuit, a pineapple swimsuit, this is another blue tie-dye swimsuit. I mean, tie dye's the thing right now, right? I'm so excited. Okay, let's get all these on. Okay, we're gonna start with this tie-dye one because I'm excited about it. So I love the colors. This baby pink bottom with this flowy type top I think is so pretty. The bottoms I really, really like. They're high-waisted and they do have a bit of ruching on the side. I'll put the name of the swimsuit and the size that I'm wearing on the screen. That way it kind of helps you out. This I really like. I think that this was a good size for me, but if it's going to get wet, it will stretch a little bit. So I probably should have sized down just one size. Here's a look at the back. The straps are adjustable and I appreciate how thick they are, I feel like they're just durable, you know? Where can I wear this to right now? I love this. I am wearing my underwear with it, so if you see a line, that's what it is. I think the colors, here's a better look. The colors are gorgeous. I also love how it kind of V's a little bit. I think that's really flattering. They had so many of these tie-dye-ish swimsuits. The pink one just spoke to me, so. I like this one. What do we think? I mean, I'm wearing this one. I don't know where I'm going, but I'm wearing it. Next one I wanna do is this pineapple one. I think I forgot to mention that first swimsuit does have padding, almost like molded cups, no underwire, same for this one. Okay. Apparently I was into the ruffle whenever I picked all of these out. This one? I really like this one too. I love how low it is. I know not everyone likes that, but I like to tan. So for me, this is what I really like. I also love the ruffle, the thin straps. When I turn around, y'all are gonna love it. So here's a look at the back. This means that you can adjust and tighten as much as you want because these are the straps, they're tied. Okay, I thought I liked the first one the best, but now there's this one, right? Okay, I don't know now. Do we like this one or the other one better? Let's do the sunflower one. I tried to order, like I always mention, I try to order a variety of styles because I know not everyone likes the same thing. Oh, this is another two-piece ruffle. I feel like every clip that I start, I'm like this because I love this bright yellow, almost like a neon. It is definitely brighter than the bottoms. The sunflower bottom is a more muted yellow. These are, they feel like the same bottoms as the first tie-dye ones. They are high-waisted. They have a bit of ruching on them, which I really appreciate. The top has the molded cups. Again, no underwire, but I feel like I'm in this pretty well and I'm a double D at the top. So if that tells you anything, there you go. I have no under anything coming out. It's all tucked in. It's all secure. Again, I love the V that comes down in the front. I think it's very flattering. I should have pulled these out earlier so it wouldn't be wrinkled. I think this look is really flattering. And here's a look at the back. The straps, again, are adjustable. I think it hits at a great spot where it just is very flattering. You see a slim peekaboo of skin, but it's not a full-on back exposed. Y'all, fun fact, my favorite color is yellow. It's been yellow for years and years. And this 
solidifies my choice to have my favorite color is yellow. This is another great one. Looking at it in the viewfinder, I think this placement was really smart because that just kind of slims everything. This blue, it's not really tie-dye like I thought. It's more of like a sun. The water and the sun, like the beach. This one does have ruching, you can tell on the sides and stuff. It is a little bit low. I've pulled the adjustable straps almost all the way to the front as far as I could, and it's still quite a bit low. But again, I don't mind because I like getting the tan. I think this is very slimming. And here's a look at the back, full back all the way up. Again, the adjustable straps, you can see the strap width does change a little bit when you get to the adjustment area but it's not a skinny strap this one i think is a really good size did i just hit the jackpot <laughs> with swimsuits like uh, like affordable swimsuits here's a look at it close up it does have ruching here and you can kind of finagle it how you want for the bottom all right let's see i think this is the last swimsuit i think that black one might be a top oh look at the color okay i don't own anything this color and i think that's what drew me toward this swimsuit. The molded padding cups are a little bit off for me. They're also a little bit small for me. I mean, you can tell they're a little pointy. You can take them out, but I wanted to show you what it looks like with, let me situate them, with the padding, and then let me take them out and we'll continue. So with, and this is without. So obviously <laughs> you do run the risk of, you know, giving someone little headlight action um, if you do take them out because there's nothing blocking except for this fabric. So we're gonna turn around and show you the back while I give my front a chance to adjust. <laughs> so here's a look at the back. It's definitely unique. I love the mesh. It took me a minute to get this hooked by myself, but now that it's all hooked and, and everything's in, I do feel very secure. The only thing you can see this mesh bit is kind of digging into right here. It just comes really far over. It's a little bit uncomfortable right there, but overall, I love the whole look of this. So you've got the mesh in the front, the high neck, this bit of gathering here, the little belt, like fake belt look, and then a little bit of ruching. It's a very cute swimsuit. If we were having company over or maybe like a pool party or something, I think it would be really pretty. And I love the green color. I don't own anything like this. So I would definitely take the padding out. Just that just worked out better for me. Right, last swimsuit. I think I may be a little bit too big on the top. I do like the scallop feature. The bottoms are high-waisted ruching. I seem, I think that all the bottoms that I've tried are this style, which I really like. Super high-waisted or, I mean, here's my belly button, so half an inch above the belly button. Ruching on the side. This is very cute. And here's a look at the scallop detail I think is really pretty. Now here's a look at the back. It is adjustable. It's all strings. So the straps in the front all come through the hoops and you can tighten, you can loosen. So I could most certainly tighten it. If I wanted to, I'm just alone and I can't really do that by myself. So this one has the same padding as all the other ones, the ones that I just pulled out that you saw. And I can, can I remove them? I think I can remove them. Um, so here's this one. It's cute in theory, but I don't know. I think that I'm just too large in the chest. <laughs> this dress, how pretty, first of all, but second of all, it doesn't fit. I can't get it to zip all the way on the side, but I still wanted to show you because it's such a pretty summer dress and it is lined. So you've got something underneath this flowy black floral top. I love the ruffle sleeves. I think too, I would probably just not wear a bra with it because it is lined. I mean, if it fit. I'd be wearing it, but it doesn't. Um, because it's lined and I think that you could get away with not wearing a bra because these straps are so small. I think it's really pretty. And I'm very disappointed that it doesn't work for me. But I do think that if you like it, ordering up would probably be helpful. I could probably get it zipped, but I'm alone. And I've been in the boat before where I've gotten something on and can't get it off and I've got to wait for someone to come help me. So we don't want to do that again. <laughs> This dress is very pretty. I like the colors. It's tight in the top. So I would suggest for dresses to maybe size up 
that's how it's worked out for me anyways, because you can see the buttons pulling right there. But I do like the idea of this dress with the buttons here. It's almost like a faux wrap dress. The buttons don't actually come undone. I think the colors are very summery. I like the sleeve length. And here's a look at the back. You can probably tell that it's a little bit snug. But I guess maybe if you wore almost like a minimizing bra, you would probably be okay because these buttons aren't real. So you don't run the risk of anything showing if it does pull. It's very cute though. I don't own anything like this, this style or anything. I like the bit of higher on the leg right there. What do we think? Let's talk about the top first. I had a hard time tying it in the back. So when you see that, just keep that in mind. I love the look of this. I just pulled my straps down for my bra and tucked it so that you could get a better idea of what it would look like. Okay, long bell sleeves. I absolutely love the detail on this. It's so pretty. It is the same detail on the bottom half. It is a tad bit see-through. So keep that in mind. But I think if you wear it with something like these shorts, high-waisted shorts, you would be okay because not as much is showing. Or if you had a swimsuit on underneath, pop this top on with like a little cute skirt and you've got a cute outfit. So let me turn around. Again, please keep in mind that if I were not alone, this tie would be up here. That's what drew me to this top is this tie feature. I think it's so fun and just something different. The top is a good fit for me. I would probably just wear a strapless bra to avoid the straps tucked in but i do think it's a very pretty summer shirt you could definitely dress it up for an evening where maybe with some black high-waisted jeans and little wedges would be cute okay let's talk about the shorts these are high-waisted super stretchy denim shorts what i liked about them was the fray bit of fray at the bottom and then these rhinestones i thought were fun the pockets are real pockets y'all know how much I love a good real pocket. I think they're a great length. I like these. You could roll them too. I think if you wanted to, to roll them to the studs would be cute. All around these shorts are a good fit. I like everything about them. I think like I mentioned, the length is perfect. And I don't own, I have a pair of black cutoff shorts, but they're super short. So I don't really wear them that often, but these, this length I think is nice. Next top we have is a tie-dye top. This is pretty, it's not t-shirt material. I thought it would be like t-shirt material, it's definitely not. So this is 95% polyester, 5% spandex, size 2X for reference, I think was a good size. It does look like it's pulling a bit there, but it's not tight anywhere else. It is a bit of a high-low. I like the purple to the white to the blue. It's very soft. I like this. Oh, it has cuff sleeves. I didn't even notice. There we go. A bit of a cuff. And here's what it looks like from the back. I could see this with a pair of white cut off or rolled cropped jeans and some little tan sandals. I like it. I feel like I've left everything so far. I have one top left. Okay. I like this one too. This one does have adjustable straps. And if you didn't want to wear a bra with it, it does have extra lining in the top, but not through the rest of the top. So that extra lining stops right here. I think this is really pretty. It does zip up on the side. I didn't have to unzip it to put it on. I just threw it on over my head. I like it with these shorts too. I like how flowy it is at the bottom. I like how it's not snug anywhere. This would be cute with a pair of jeans too, or even just shorts like this. Do I like this one better than the tie-dye one? I like them differently. <laughs> um, but yeah, this one's pretty. I like the floral. I like the light color on it. Here's a close-up look at the pattern. It does have a bit of ruching here and a sweetheart neckline, which I think is just a nice detail at the top. The sleeves are super flowy. I don't have an issue with my arms fitting in them. They have plenty of room. I would probably wear a strapless bra with this just because it is a light color. Okay, let's talk final thoughts. Because this is a swimsuit Saturday, let's go back to swimsuits. My favorite, I think, is the sunflower yellow one. That one is just so pretty and so bright. My second favorite would probably be the blue one piece. 
My third favorite will probably be the pineapple one piece. Because it's just so different with the tie in the back and the ruffle and the colors and stuff, I just think are really fun. My favorites clothing wise would be this top. I really like the shorts and I like this tie-dye top. So that's a wrap. As I mentioned, everything that you just saw will be linked in the description box down below. Don't forget there's a discount code. I'll put that down there too. Let me know as always what you liked, what your favorites were. Um, the swimsuits, I'm very impressed with. I think that the fit is really great, the variety. Y'all, they had pages and pages and pages of plus size swimsuits for super affordable. So if you're looking for something, then it's linked down below, as I mentioned. So that's a wrap on this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.